we're going to look at how to import data from a text file into Excel. This is something you might have to do if you're receiving data that's been exported from another system like the purchasing card system or Datatel. The first thing we do is go up to the data menu and choose get external data and then import text file. Now we're going to find where our text file is on our computer, select it and click get data. In this first step, your data is almost always going to be delimited, so that's going to be your choice most of the time. We can hit next here. The next step is to tell Excel what kind of delimiter this text file uses. A delimiter is what tells Excel to put data in a new column or row. In this case, we have a comma delimited file, so if I check comma, you'll see that it breaks up the data into nice, neat columns. If you're ever not sure how your data is delimited, you can simply check and uncheck things here until it looks right. This looks good to me, so I'm going to click Next. Here we tell Excel what kind of data each column contains. This first column, for example, is a date, so I'm going to select this column just by clicking on it, and then here I can select Date. The default data format is general, most of the time that's fine. If you ever have a column that contains zip codes, be sure to select it and choose text. This will keep Excel from dropping the zeros off of the fronts of some of your zip codes. I'm going to click Finish. It's going to ask you where you want to put the data. In this case, just putting it in an existing sheet is fine. If I want Excel to create a new sheet for me, I can select this click OK, and here it is.